Hi, I'm Patrick Capiello, wine director at Gilt Restaurant. We're in the cellar of Gilt's million dollar wine collection. We're going to talk today about how you properly store your wine, whether it's uh, long term, short term, and uh, whether you have the ability to store a lot of wine or a little wine. I think the most important thing when it comes to storing wine is temperature, and it's something that doesn't always come to the forefront of people's minds. I feel like I often go to friends' apartments and they have their little wood wine rack that it seems to be sitting right next to their oven, which never makes any sense to me because you couldn't find a hotter place in your apartment if you tried. Ideally, storing your wine under 60 degrees, 58, 56 is ideal. For short-term storage, I think not having it go over 70 is the most important, but I'm talking short-term like you're gonna drink it within a week or two. Um, you wouldn't want it to get over 70. I always tell people who don't have the luxury of having a giant wine cellar like this to use your regular refrigerator for red and white wines. I think that if you're gonna be holding on a wine for more than a few weeks. It's a special bottle. Maybe you want to have it on a special occasion. You don't want to leave it out because you're going to jeopardize the integrity of the wine in the long run by keeping it too warm. So a refrigerator will, will work. Nowadays, they're making a lot of smaller bottle wine fridges that can hold a couple dozen wines that you can keep in your apartment. If you own a home, in the basement of the home always tends to be the best place because it stays cool down there. It's moist too, which is probably the second important thing after temperature is moisture. And the reason why moisture is important is it keeps your corks fresh. Basically, when a cork dries out, it needs some sort of moisture. And if it's not in the environment that the wine's being kept, it's going to pull it from the only other place it can, which is from the wine, which is going to um, potentially bring oxygen to the wine and oxidize the wine. So thanks for joining us. I'm Patrick. Cheers.